Insulin resistance is a key risk factor for type 2 diabetes and many other chronic diseases, including heart disease, stroke, chronic kidney disease, and certain types of cancer. The first and probably most common cause of insulin resistance is carrying excess visceral and ectopic fat. Visceral fat is fat around the inner organs. Ectopic fat is fat stored inside of the inner organs as well as in our muscle tissue. Fairly reliable signs that we carry visceral and ectopic fat are increased waist circumference and also elevated fasting triglyceride levels. So if your waist circumference has increased over the years, and also if your fasting triglycerides exceed 100 mg per deciliter, and particularly 150 mg per deciliter, talk to your doctor about looking at whether you may be carrying excess fat in your visceral depots and also in your inner organs, such as your liver. Aside from being major causes of insulin resistance, carrying excess visceral and ectopic fat is one of the most important risk factors for many chronic diseases. So you really want to know about this and treat it. A second major cause of insulin resistance is lack of muscle mass. After a meal rich in carbohydrates, most of the glucose that enters our bloodstream is being taken up by muscle cells. And if you don't have enough muscle tissue, that in itself could cause insulin resistance. The third major cause of insulin resistance is a sedentary lifestyle. Now, this is not the same as a lack of muscle mass. Even if you exercise a few times per week formally, you could still be insulin resistant if you sit around the rest of the time. Our bodies are made to be moved regularly, and we understand really well that sitting too much of the day is a major health risk, including a potential cause of insulin resistance. And the fourth major cause of insulin resistance is a deficiency in several micronutrients or fiber. There are at least six or seven vitamins, minerals, and trace elements, a deficiency of which results in insulin resistance, and where addressing that deficiency can improve insulin sensitivity. To learn more about all of this and what you can practically do to prevent or reverse insulin resistance, please find the link to the full video entitled How to Prevent or Reverse Insulin Resistance in the description, or visit my channel and find the playlist entitled Prevention and Reversal of Insulin Resistance.